Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, giving y'all eyes a break and mine as well. And, uh, you know, so I haven't been on camera in the uh, last few videos, but that's all right. Um, I'll be back. Uh, let me... You know, I, I, I'm really um, ashamed, actually, and pissed at this next story. This story right here just shows you the classic narcissism. It just shows you um, you're never safe. You never know where it's going to come from next. The racism, the narcissism. And this story is about Rocket Ride. And for those of y'all who don't know who Rocket Ride is, um, Rod Stewart. Okay, with his punk ass. Um, Rod Stewart and his son will avoid jail time as the rocker reaches a plea deal uh, to plead no contest and have battery charges dropped after punching a security guard on New Year's Eve. Rod Stewart and his son, Sean, 40 will avoid jail time and potentially an embarrassing trial that was set um, to start Tuesday in Florida. The father and son were charged with battery after Rob was caught on camera throwing a punch at a security guard on New Year's Eve in Palm Beach. A resolution that's acceptable to all parties has been reached, their attorney Guy Fronstein said and it will result in no jail time for both of my clients. The stewards are expected to plead no contest and previously faced up to a year in jail. The hotel surveillance footage obtained exclusively um, last year showed Rod delivering a right hook to the security guard named Jesse Dixon, who was 35. Not the YouTube content creator. <laughs> Shout out to Jesse. Anyway, Rod Stewart and his son. Okay? Now, Rod, you know your ass, 40, 76 years old, out here punching on people because he felt that him and his family should have been uh, invited in the area of the hotel that they wasn't invited to, and then he got mad because the security said he couldn't go there. Anyway, the trial was scheduled for Tuesday, but was canceled according to court papers. Instead, Judge August Bonavita is expected to sign off on a deal on October 22nd and close the case. Neither Stewart nor his son are mandated to appear. Uh, I hope it's acceptable to, uh, I really do, to the brother. I really do. The stewards were facing the possibility of spending up to a year in jail in Palm Beach County's jail. Uh, he's a first-time offender, said Franz Stin. It's really, it's just silly to send him to jail. Uh, besides, Franz Stin said, added security and other accommodations in his incarceration would have resulted in extra costs to the community. Franz Stin added probation for Stewart and his son period, for a period when they'd be mandated to stay out of trouble or sent to jail could be part of the deal, but has yet to be negotiated. Hmm. Really? Hmm. Palm Beach State Attorney Dave Arnold, Ar Ar Arenberg said, our mission is to uphold the law regardless of social, economic, or celebrity status. My prosecutors based their decisions in this case and as in all other cases solely on the facts of the law. Palm Beach County's justice system tends to be forgiven with offenders who were never convicted before. <sighs> yeah. I mean, he, he, here's what uh get me. And here's what really kind of pissed me off to no avail. 
The hotel security of footage obtained exclusively last year showed Rocket Rod clad in his trademark gold lame dinner jacket delivering a lightning fast right hook to the security guard Jesse Dixon who first appeared to push Sean. The footage shows the incident occurred seconds after the singer of Stay With Me and Tonight's The Night mocked the security guard who prevented access to the Stewart clan, including his wife Penny uh, Lancaster, along with their two boys, 15-year-old Alistair and Aiden, nine, to an outdoor playground. Now, I don't know why, but they weren't uh, allowed. Uh, then it says Stewart even performed what appeared to be like a Hitler salute with his right arm extended above his head while fingers on his left hand made a Hitler-style mustache. What the hell is that all about? The father and son were arrested and briefly jailed. They should have been. Rod's old ass out there, 76, out there fighting a 35-year-old security guard who probably could have knocked him all the way to smithereens, the brother, and here these two white men, um, again, showing out and figured they didn't have to follow protocol because it's a black security telling them they can't enter a place with it, that they were invited. Okay? I mean, it, you know, the footage shows that Rod's group stopped by an attendant as Rod penetrates the secured area and starts strutting as if he were on a concert stage. The singer slips behind the attendant and acts like a gorilla about to grab her. Once she turns around, he just stands with his hands in his pocket as if he's done nothing. According to the incident report filed with the court by Palm Beach Police, the singer and his family were loud and argumentative when the attendant told them that they couldn't access the playground. Dixon, in his black suit, arrived in view of a camera and both Rod and Sean, as well as an unidentified male, approach him. At that point, the discussion seems friendly. Rod's hands are down or in his pockets as several children from his group start playing on the small playground. Uh, Rod even places his left hand on Dixon's shoulder, and Dixon doesn't appear to mind. However, uh, Rod becomes more animated as Dixon stands on the decision not to let them in and points at the children on the playground as if to say they need to get out. Rod then minds what appears to be a Nazi salute, and things just degenerate from there. As Sean slides into Dixon's personal space, then pushes Dixon backwards with both hands, Rod then throws a nasty right hook as Dixon steadies himself and walks toward Sean. It's unclear from the footage whether the rocker's fist connected with Dixon's body. The police report, however, said has Dixon claiming his singer first struck him on the left side of his chest. Rob Stewart, y'all, is 76 years old, and this man is 35. The police report Rob Stewart apologized before leaving. Yeah, well. <laughs> the plea deal, meanwhile, became possible as Dixon's lawyer told um, the Daily Mail last month that he reached an agreement with the stewards on compensation. Okay, cool. The civil issue has been resolved. A full agreement has been made. Dixon's lawyer um, said, my client is going to sign the appropriate document to allow the prosecutor to enter whatever agreement they want with Mr. Stewart. Now, what y'all think about that? What do y'all think? 
Do y'all think this is privilege at its best? Um, or do you think it's a, no, just an isolated incident? Or do you think because he's a sir and he's been rocking so long and being favored so long that, of course, white male privilege. And how dare this black security guard tell him where he can and cannot go? Mm, that's how I took it. I don't know. What y'all think? Like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share, and share your thoughts. Okay? And I'll see you in the next video.